Excel comes with a large collection of chart types. If I click on my chart and look up in the ribbon, and I go to my Chart Tools Design tab in the ribbon, I have the option to choose Chart Type. Now just before I do this, I actually want to change the order of these two years. So what I'm going to do is click the Select Data button. When I click the Select Data button, I can click on the year 2011 and use the Move Up button to move this series up. When I click OK, 2011 now comes before 2012, and this matches the notes. What I want to do now is change the entire chart to a line chart. So on the Chart Tools Design tab to the very far left, I have a Change Chart Type button. If I click this button, I can see a gallery of styles that Excel offers. I currently have a column chart and it actually has a blue border and when I rest on it, this is called a clustered column. If I would prefer to have a line chart, I'll click on Line. And when I click OK, I've changed the chart type of the entire chart to a line. I may wish to go back to Change Chart Type and choose a different type of chart. For example, I might choose this one. This one here is basically cylinders columns as cylinders, and I choose OK. And now I have columns as cylinders. If I go back to change chart type, I might return the chart back to the original column that I had, the clustered column. So I'll click on this button, and I'll click OK. Sometimes we want to mix chart types together on the same chart. For example, I might want to show 2012 as a line. To change just 2012, I've got to click one of the 2012 bars, one of these green bars. Then when I choose the button Change Chart Type, and I choose a line, it's only going to affect the selected series. So I click OK, and now 2012 only is a line. So the trick is, if you want to change the entire chart type, don't have a particular series selected. But if you want to change how one particular series looks, click on the series and then change the chart type and mix and match whatever chart types you like.